Hey everybody, it is me. I am back with another video. I know you're probably like, who is this girl? How is she back yet again? She was gone for months. Now we're getting back to back videos. At least I hope it's back to back videos because I just filmed yesterday a whole Chanel unboxing. So it should be live by now. I hope it's live by now. I hope this video does not be that one, but this is gonna be, it's not a massive haul, but it's a good haul. I literally was getting a little bit stir crazy today. I have been in my house for about a week under quarantine and was like, you know what? Let's do a curbside pickup and just get some more essentials. I just did a huge Chanel um, beauty haul for fall winter 2020. In that video, I talked about how I had never tried Chanel products before. Um, I had like tried a few pieces but not a whole bunch and after testing it out I really liked everything I got. The eyeshadows were super silky. I was obsessed so I figured you know what why don't I like Nordstrom is about 10 minutes away. Let's do a little like curbside pickup with Nordstrom um, for some Chanel pieces. And then as soon as I got there and parked, I had this whole little like dilemma where I accidentally did something to ship to myself rather than curbside. And besides like getting frustrated, I was like, you know what? I'm getting out of the car. I am getting out the car. I am gonna run in. I meant to, literally I meant to go to the grocery store and that was it today. And I ended up having to get out my car and go into Nordstrom, which it's in the middle of the anniversary sale. I didn't think the store was going to be busy, but it was wild in there. Um, but I managed to pick up a few more things from Chanel and then I, you know, happened to stop by Sephora because they were having their whole like welcome back with their stores reopening. It was like a 20 off a hundred. I really did not get a lot from there, but I'm going to show you what I got because it's some new stuff for them. Um, it's like things that I've kind of already tried, but regardless, let's get into this haul. Um, I am feeling, you know, I'm feeling good. I have a little smoothie here that my husband made for me. Um, since I've been home, he's been doing like a smoothie a day, so I totally appreciate it. We've been putting like a bunch of fruits in here, banana, avocado, and um, it's delicious. Okay, sorry, my dog just decided she wants to look out the window that's providing me all of my light. <laughs> but I saw this top in the window of Free People as I was walking out of Nordstrom and I totally was like, you know what? Let me just let me just peep in there. But even though we're not going anywhere now, I just wanted something like loose fitting, fun that I could pair with jeans or like a high waisted like pencil skirt and go out in the evening. So this is it. I love this like rust color. I love the embroidery on it. Um, it's a little bit shorter of a top. It definitely, you're probably looking at it like, girl, this cuts so low. But I like that because I don't mind doing like a lacy, I'm sorry, I'm not getting up. <laughs> I don't mind doing like a little lacy um, bralette underneath. And then I kind of like that the back is pretty open as well. So I can't wait to wear this on a date night. This will probably be like one of the for, oh my god, did I snag it already? No. Oh, it's just wrinkled. <laughs> but this will probably be one of the first tops that I wear when I finally get to go out again. I love this color. Like, it's one of my favorites. I don't see it enough in, like, cute enough tops for me to warrant getting it. But um, it's beautiful. And then the price for this, just in case you're wondering, or if you're wondering at the name. So it is from Free People. And it is called the Bold Babe Embroidered Cami. It is $68. <laughs> now to get into, I'm trying to think. Maybe I should wait a whole Chanel off till the last thing. Let's get into Lalabo. So there is a Lalabo counter inside of my Nordstrom. Um, I think most Nordstroms have it. There's no Lalabo or Lalabo, however you want to say it. Um, we don't have any of those boutiques down here in San Diego, but I figured, you know what, one of my friends mentioned that he got another candle from them. Right now, all I have is a Centaur candle. I was burning that actually before I left my house today, and I was halfway done, and I don't know if you could tell in the background, I have loads of candles. I don't need it. I literally need a candle, like I need a hole in my head. 
not even kidding like i'm not exaggerating when i tell you i probably have over 50 candles so i don't need it but with the city exclusives coming up to be honest i went to the counter to see if they had any samples testers what i'm not sam samples but any testers out so that i could at least smell it and get an idea of what i want um they had a new counter manager his name was rule and he was so sweet in the midst of helping three different people um and i was like you know what i i totally understand take your time i'm gonna go smell all the candles over here um and then when you're done you can kind of help me out so he sprayed two of these things with New York and then LA. I already have um, San Francisco and Hong Kong, um, which is Lamet and then Bigger Aid. And you know, LA and New York are ones that I am I'm debating getting this year. If you don't mind just spraying a little one of this, I didn't want to get greedy and be like, can you spray all the six that I was interested in? I only asked for the two. Um, so I got tuberose, which is so good, but this was sprayed hours ago and it's already kind of i mean i could still smell it but i think i remember last year trying it out and it didn't last on my skin as long um and so i was like you know what i don't need this but this guy this is la and this is musk 25 it is like a flora dream i love this and i'm pretty sure i'm gonna get it i need to like think of what i want it to say on the bottle i already envision must 25 being a part of my lalabo collection and i don't know if you can kind of see that fridge that's right there um one of my great friends the one that actually um told me about the candle what he purchased yesterday was the one that got me this for christmas and it is amazing because it houses all of my high-end perfumes i like chanel and victor and rolf and stella mccartney all those other perfumes all live over there on this like beautiful hexagon shelf that i have but everything that i spent maybe like over 180 dollars on goes in that cabinet over there so we have like a louis vuitton fragrance in there i have a byredo fragrance um and then i even have some of my diptyque even though they're just editois um i find that i like them to live in there and stay cold because i feel like it makes the fragrance um more enhanced whenever i do spray it so anyways after i as i was waiting for a rule to help everybody else i was smelling the candles and i was like let me see what all the hype is about you know my friend told me he got it so i was like let me let me just check it out so i ended up picking up two which what the f lexi but um this is one verveen 32 and as you can see on the label there i am all about i don't like to put my name on the labels because obviously they're mine and also i know this is super morbid but when i die and someone gets to collect all my candles i don't want it to say for lexi i wanted to say like whatever i was feeling in that moment so for this one verveen 32 will be um it'll say labeled in san diego and i was like super strict i was like please don't put nordstrom i don't want nordstrom on my label i wanted to just say san diego and then on i think that he meant to put august like 2020 because it's obvious like today is not august 2020 it's a different date but i like i actually don't mind that because august 20 is my husband's birthday and it's also like the birthday of our dogs so I don't mind it. I actually kind of like that. And then this one for Verveen, I have the thing for aesthetics. Oh, my hair is messy. Um, because I have like a little side project for like home decor that I'm doing right now. Um, and it's all about aesthetics, baby. And that's kind of part of the little name that I have going on. So that's that. I don't want to open this just yet, but I just wanted to show you. Actually, let me find a knife and I will open it. Pause one second. <laughs> All right, back and I got a knife. So I'm gonna show you what this looks like. Um, this candle is 8.6 ounces. Um, to be honest, I don't even care how many ounces these things are because they last so long because you don't have to burn it so long for it to like fully smell up your whole house. Oh, this smells so good right out of the box. Oh, it's so strong. Um, I kind of want to look up the notes for what Verveen is supposed to be because I can't quite tell. I'm just smoothing out the label. I know he was in a hurry and I don't blame him, but I just want my label to be like beautiful. So, and I feel like he put it on crooked. 
that's gonna drive me crazy talk about aesthetics <laughs> oh it smells so good so this is it right here so the same label that's on the box is also on here which i think is pretty cool this one smells beautiful let me actually like this i kind of want my house to smell like this right now and then this is like the inside of the box so they already have these kind of set aside and made but um and i i don't have the heart to throw these boxes away i feel like you pay for the box when you pay for the candle you know you almost died <laughs> one of my friends actually told me about these cool little electric lighters i have not had a charge this yet so it was totally worth the money because i bought it so long ago um but i think it's cool i'm not gonna trim the wick because i don't care about that kind of stuff i should but i don't look at that beautiful i am gonna love this i know it i'm gonna put this right here next to me all right and then the other candle that i got was cologne 17 this one because i picked that other one out first this one i was like really what what should i name it like what do i want this to be and so this one you're gonna get a kick out of it i love this this one is four impulses because I have no impulse control. If I see something and I like it, I don't I don't take the time to rationalize and think like, hey girl, you already got a bunch. I just get it. So I can already tell. This is gonna need some smoothing. So this is it here. And when I talk about smoothing, so when they do the label, they actually go on the computer, they obviously type up what you want it to say, and then they print it, and it prints onto a sticker, and the sticker they then put on the thing. If you are not a neat freak, or if you are not, like, crazy, like, attention to detail like I am, you're going to put it on, and it's going to look like so, where it's going to be bubbling, and where you're going to have clients like me that don't love it. So, that's fine. Because then I will just go back and take the time to get all those little air bubbles out until they look like they make sense because I don't like the bubbles in my label. I don't want it to come off in like one full suit. Four impulses. <laughs> all right, so I'm not going to light that one. We're just going to let Verveen light and be cool all by itself and cologne will be lit later on. Let's get into Sephora. Um, I had got a reward perk and it was the Peter Thomas Roth Water Drench Broad Spectrum SPF 45 Moisturizer. And I don't need this because I, in like the last Sephora sale, I actually picked up the Super Goop Glow Screen and I like it. And I was actually comparing that to a pre to the pharmacy green clean like um as like what do you call it sunscreen moisturizer that i was using and i was talking about how much i love it and don't get me wrong i do love i love both and i use them and i alternate them but when i started using this guy it was like a game changer this thing goes on so so smooth it doesn't feel like a moisturizer it doesn't feel like a cream it literally feels so lightweight and so moisturizing that i went through the whole 100 point perk that i had and i was like you know what the next time they have a sale i'm gonna pick up the full size and so when i saw that they were doing the 20 dollars off i really didn't need a whole bunch of stuff i didn't need anything really but i was like you know what let me pick this up so that way you don't have to go through my glow screen so fast i'm so excited i got it because this thing was like such this is what the bottle looks like it's such a game changer oh it's already open oh and it's a pump oh god i love it so this is it I'm just going to put a light amount there because I just want to show you guys how stinking clear and like perfect this is. As you see, I'm a woman of color and this, like look at that, it just disappeared. No white cast, no nothing. Um, there's no scent to it. I I cannot rave enough about this. I um, really, really like this stuff. Um, I mean, it's amazing. It's a water resistant sunscreen. It's great. It is great. Okay, next thing that I got was this mascara from Lancome. It is a Monsoor Big mascara. And I bought, I got this 
for free because I don't know if you remember, but back a few months ago when I did my huge Sephora haul, I got the little Sephora favorites kit and it was between this and the Fenty and I was like, oh my God, which one do I do? But this was a dollar more than the Fenty and this I've tried and used and loved. So I was like, do I try something that I haven't, like, do I get something that I haven't really tried? Um, or do I get something that I know and love? So I got something that I know and love, which was this guy. This, I'm not even gonna like open it up fully. This is gonna go in my backup drawer. I just wanted to redeem it today because I kept forgetting about it. I literally had it in a stack, like the little coupon. I had it in a stack with all my papers and totally forgot until I was cleaning up today. And I was like, you know what? Let me go redeem this before I forget. So that is the second thing and then the last thing that i picked up from sephora was this brand new airbrush flawless finish powder from charlotte tilbury in the shade three tan so this was another thing that i picked up during the sephora sale haul um and i got the shade two medium and it is the perfect under eye setting powder and when i say perfect i want to tell you it is what seven o'clock maybe and i don't know if you could tell but underneath my eyes it is still I mean, fairly smooth. I did get in a, I did like, you know, sweat a little bit today, but it still looks nice and bright and I could definitely appreciate it. And so I went to the store and I was like, you know what, do I get the deep shade? Because I, I, the whole purpose of getting this was because I really liked the medium one, but I wanted something that I can wear when I'm at work to touch up my oily, gigantic forehead. So I'm gonna grab a brush because this is the brush that I use whenever I set my like underneath my face and right now as you could probably imagine I'm not wearing that much makeup because we're wearing a mask this thing I like this is a Sephora um, powder brush and I like how it is angled and kind of like domed on the at the top and it's great because when I put it down I literally put it in this corner and then I swipe it all the way up and that's kind of how I set my under my eyes um, with that airbrush flawless flawless finish powder in medium so when I went there I told a girl I was like look I want something to set my forehead and touch it up throughout the day because I get very oily and I'm sweat I'm not even oily I'm sweating throughout the day and I just don't want to look like a grease ball and so I mean I don't she was like I think deep is gonna be too deep let's do this one and I don't know you can't you can't touch anything right now so it's like you know what let me just get it if it doesn't work I can exchange it so let's try it out you're gonna see me try it on camera this is it here and then I am gonna touch up my forehead so this is a new shade that Charlotte just came out with I'm not sure if you guys saw she came out with this and then a setting pa a setting like a setting mist oh my god this is perfect oh I love it already I thought it was gonna be way lighter and not match my skin but <laughs> you see I'm like going ham with this but I don't even care oh Oh my god, do you see the difference in my skin right now? Girl, I just got so matte so quick. That's why I needed this. So this is gonna go in my purse. That was the third and last thing that I got from Sephora. Last few things and then we're done. I've been talking forever, my throat hurts. Got, I got five things from the Chanel counter. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, I went in there, um, obviously I was explaining, I was trying to do curbside pickup. Literally, I was trying to do curbside pickup for a highlighter and a lipstick. The highlighter I had ordered yesterday, it was ready for pickup, it's actually this guy right here. There was a lipstick and I accidentally, I was on the app, I was in a hurry, and I accidentally had it shipped to myself rather than an in-store pickup. So that was super frustrating because I'm like, what the and then i call i'm not gonna go into what happened it's just i called they made it sound like i can go pick it up anyways and i couldn't so i got out the car and what was meant to be just a pickup for this guy ended up a pickup for all of these guys <laughs> so let's start off with the lipstick it is another rouge allure ink fusion i got the color pink brown i don't know um whether or not I, I uploaded the Chanel fall haul yet but um I got the ambiguette color and I actually really liked it it was like a terracotta brownish red and this one as it is called 
pink brown <laughs> as a pink brown so i'm not going to take off the lip color i have right now i really don't even know what that is it's like a residual from earlier but let's just put this on and see the thing about this formula that i was kind of like nervous about was that it was so liquidy and that i felt as if it took a while to dry down but i feel like now that i know that I feel like now that I know that, if I just put it on way in advance before I leave my house, then I should be fine. So, I like it. You're going to look at me and say this looks like every other color you have. Yes, I know, and I don't care. I wanted it in the Chanel formula, and I got it. Next item that I got was that highlighter that I just mentioned. And it is in, it's in the Warm Gold Powder. <laughs> I hate these sleeves and this is it here so I already have this in the other colors but I wanted the warm gold because I felt like this was gonna match my skin better um, as I was like on the way home I was like oh my god I want to sample this I really haven't been wearing a lot of highlighter lately so I tried to put it on my face but I wasn't seeing it show up which was very unfortunate Oh, I see it now. <laughs> um, let's just put it on the high points of our cheeks because that's where highlighter goes. This is like a much more natural looking highlight. I don't know if you can, if it's like even picking it up. I'm sorry. If you hear that heavy breathing, that is my German Shepherd literally losing his mind in the living room. He's chasing his tail right now. So. I'm trying to pick up enough product. I feel like it's either the brushes I'm picking it up or it's just super light. Okay. That's as good as it's going to get. I just don't want it to look ashy. Which I feel like... <laughs> I feel like it's kind of coming off ashy. But what could you do? Um, so that is the Warm Gold. I'm going to play with it some more. I'm going to play with it on more dewy skin and see how I like it. The next item that I got was another, um, eyeshadow pod. This is in 354 Warm Memories. I was eyeing this on the website, but wanted to see it in person before I made any moves. And this is it. I'm going to swatch these colors on my hand to show you okay so i don't know if it's picking it up the lighting is like horrible right now but these are the colors of warm memories um i really like it it's something kind of different um it's very very different than what i was expecting it to be so but i'm not once again it's one of those things where i'm like i'm not mad at it Kind of, I actually really like it. I don't know how I swatch this, like as I look in my hand, but it's really pretty and I feel like it's something that, um, I think it's something that I could actually wear as like a day to day for work. So really like this. Just enough. The blush I got was in the shade 71 Malice. This is what it looks like. I'm gonna test this on my face and kind of see what it looks like. It's very beautiful. Oh, there's my dog. Right, so this is 71 Malice. I don't know if you can tell. I'm sorry. I have literally like every dog in the neighborhood outside with my two dogs just sitting here like, Mom, move out the way. You're in the window. But this is 71 Malice. I really like how this came. Like, I was very surprised. I saw this and I was like, oh, this is a pretty color. And she had told me, she was like, this is one that sells out all of the time. And I could see why. This is beautiful. I love this color. Um, it's like the perfect, like, corally shade so i'm really happy and now that i have this on next to the highlight everything kind of makes a bit more sense now 
the last item I got from Chanel. This video is going to be so long and I'm so sorry. It is the Chanel Riviera um, Editois spray. I It was between this size and the 1.7. This is a 4.2. And then what's crazy is it was between this one and then Venice or Venetia. And I couldn't decide. I kept like spraying my hand and didn't know and I was like you know what let's just do it let's just do this one let's just do Riviera and then we can go back and get the other one later on if we really like it so that is why I got this one and oh the bottle is beautiful I'm sorry I just threw the box on the ground this is the bottle. I just love how like simplistic the packaging is. Um, this is something I kind of want to get just to throw in my purse. This is like a very big bottle, but it is something that I really want to just throw in my purse and when I'm on the go, spray myself. Mm. Mm. I feel like I'm on a vacation right now. I very, this is like, it, I like smell it and I think, of I smell it and I think of just sitting on the beach drinking a mimosa and being totally relaxed it just takes me away from this whole 2020 year of what the heck is going on <laughs> but I want to thank you guys so much for just sitting hanging out with me during this haul video um I I know it is a doozy. I'm a little loopy today. I'm tired. I'm like stir crazy from being in the house and I'm just like ready for something new. I'm ready to be like in a tropical place where no one is sick and everything is just chill. Um, actually, one more thing I kind of wanted to show you real fast. I actually picked up the Barefoot Dreams cardigan. That I got the black one and I, I haven't even taken the tags off of it so embarrassing but I've been using it to keep warm in my house and this thing is like the perfect material I love it I might actually pick it up in cream as well because I just love how it feels but I want to thank you so much if you haven't subscribed yet subscribe come watch me haul stuff that I don't need and talk about things that I don't need but it's fun it's fun. We're all having a good time. Everything's fine. I'm fine. <laughs> um, I thank you guys so much again for watching. Give it a thumbs up. If there's something in this video that you like, you want me to talk more about, drop it down below. Let me know and maybe I will talk about it in the future. Um, if you want a review on my candle collection, um, you know as well, I don't mind going over like my top candles from them. Um, and even going over like some of my top ones from Jo Malone and Vibrato um, and other brands like that. So I thank you guys. I hope you all have an amazing day and I will see you next time. Bye.